Hey everybody, today's recipe is chocolate truffle ice cream. Alright, um, recently I bought an ice cream maker and honestly if you don't have one, uh, if you eat ice cream at all, it definitely is worth the investment because it tastes better than anything you get in the store and it's actually cheaper too. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm going to make a chocolate ice cream today and then I'm also going to make what they call a ganache. Okay, a ganache is used uh, traditionally to frost cakes, um, but when you chill it, it turns into truffles. All right. So I've adapted a recipe um, from you know a standard truffle recipe and also a chocolate ice cream recipe to get everything down into the ice cream maker because it only has so much. So that's that's one caution I have for you that if you're going to start changing recipes, keep track of the total the total volume that you do because we start throwing stuff in it'll just come out the top all right you don't want to do that all right so for the ice cream component we need need uh, three quarters of a cup of good quality cocoa this is important do not buy the bulk cocoa just open the bin and smell it it is not the same and the taste will not be the same either so get highest quality cocoa you can fries is the best all right you need a third cup each of white and brown sugar. All right. You need one cup of whole milk. Uh, so I use three percent. You can get three or three and a quarter. It doesn't really matter. All right. Two cups of whipping cream. Right. And two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. For the ganache or the truffle component, you need eight ounces. So two forty, two fifty grams, either one of dark chocolate. I buy mine in bulk and I'll chop it up and I'll show you how to do that. If you want to get the little pieces that melt, that's fine too. Just make sure it's the high quality one. All right. And you're going to need again, half a cup of whipping cream. You will need a quarter cup of corn syrup and you will need half a stick of unsalted butter. All right. So this is one stick. So basically I'm just going to cut that with a knife out here. All right. So the first thing to do is start shaving the chocolate. There's my block of chocolate. Now if you notice the chocolate marks on the cutting board, I did buy a larger piece and I eyeballed it and chopped a bit off. All right. So at the beginning, you shouldn't even need to touch the chocolate. Here, I'll move that. All right. So what you do is, well, you might need to touch it a bit. All right. Just kind of hold it in place. So what you do is you get in fairly close here. All right. And just angle down. Keep your French knife down, all right, and just shave it, all right. So to start the ganache, I have got the whipping cream and the corn syrup on uh, medium high heat, all right, and give that a good stir. What you want this to do is come to a boil. All right. That is definitely boiling, as you can see. So turn the heat right off and toss all of the chocolate in at once, all right? And start to stir right away, okay? So now what you do is you incorporate the butter, okay? I've chopped it up in these little pieces here. I'm putting about a third in at a time because you definitely don't want this to separate. So when you cannot see the butter like in chunks anymore, like there you see like one little piece surfacing, it's nearly in. Okay, put the next third. And the last third. Um, the next step in making the ice cream is uh, getting the dry ingredients together. So I have got the third cup each of white and brown sugar in the mixing bowl. So I'm going to gently mix those together first. Then I'm going to add the cocoa. Now, one note on cocoa, if you're not used to working with cocoa, use a spoon, all right? Cocoa does not pour, all right? If you try to pour cocoa, see, even me just shaking it, you can see it's gone over the counter, all right? So what you do is you very, very carefully fill a cup up and kind of shake it a little bit while you're doing it, just gently. Now you don't want to top this down and pack it, but you do want to make sure that the cup has the correct amount in it. I mean, if it's a little shorter over, like anything else in cooking, it's not the end of the world, right? Try to get the lumps out now. Um, the ice cream maker will do that for you. 
I don't really go to the bother of uh, sifting the coke. I mean, if you're a purist, you could do that. I just think it makes a big mess and wastes a lot of time. Next, we've got one cup of milk. Give that a quick stir. Okay, so a bit of stirring, and you can see that nearly all um, the dry ingredients have dissolved. I put in the vanilla extract now um, to distribute the flavor evenly at the beginning. And finally, the whipping cream. So two of these. Okay, so the whipping cream is in. And that's ready to go. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're making ice cream, um, always keep the freezer part in the freezer until the absolute last second, all right? Here is the uh, freezer drum that I just pulled out of the deep freeze in the garage just now. And you can see it start to frost up already, all right? So you want to be quick about this. Just get that in there like that, all right? So just... It's been about 15 minutes, a little bit over. Um, now I've got a really good close up on here because what I want you to see is where one of the arms is on the left. That's how you tell if your ice cream is getting done or not because you can actually start to see it move around inside. Plus there's gonna be a little piece of completely frozen ice cream on the left. See, and that just broke off like a little iceberg. And when it starts getting like that, you're about five minutes away from being finished and it's the time that you put in any additional ingredients like I am now with the ganache, all right? So the ganache is nearly completely cooled. You can see when it was sitting there, kind of broke up on the top. So I'm gonna give this one last stir with the whisk and then get the spatula because I don't want to leave any in the bottom of the pot. So to add ingredients like this, what you do is Make sure that you've got your pot right over the opening and slowly, slowly start to pour. And I'm going to give you another close up. Remember that volume allowance I did at the beginning? And right before I put the ganache in, you could see it, it apparently had so little ice cream. This is why you do this because um, the ganache is accounting for like one third of the volume in here, all right? It's been another five minutes and yeah, the ice cream is done. Because you can see that it's doing like, you know, the wave over the top of the paddle there. You can see little chunks of the truffle mixture in there. Now some of this will have dissolved, some of it will stay in small pieces. If you want larger pieces, uh, what you have to do is make sure that the ganache mixture is cooled sufficiently, that it's nearly a solid, um, and that way you'll get bigger chunks. Um, I've got a few one liter containers here, because I'm going to be giving this most of this away. All right. Now you notice I've got a plastic spoon and a rice paddle. All right. I find actually this rice paddle that you come with the rice cookers is the absolute best for getting the best for getting the rest of the ice cream out of this. And they don't supply it with any tools. Now there you can see there's a frozen piece right in the middle that is completed ice cream. Oh, that's a big chunk of the ganache mixture that's stuck. So we'll see who gets that. So that's most of it. Okay. Because else it'll start melting. All right. So what you do get a container lined up. The stuff in the middle will sort of be still liquidy and you do want that to dish this up so you kind of like stir around the sides with the plastic spoon, okay? To get it all nice and even, all right? So just pick up a clump and put it in the first container. 
you're going to have to tidy these up after, but it's not a big deal. Okay, so there's one. Okay. So as you remove ice cream from the freezer tub, what you'll notice is the stuff on the side freezes up solid, all right? Because the container, and here you have like the completely frozen ice cream, all right? So what you want to do is you want to get your rice paddle down there, and you want to scrape all of that up, all right? Because it's very important you not use any metal utensils or you're going to wreck your freezer tub, all right? So that's actually what the finished ice cream will look like after you put these in the deep freeze for a while, which is what I'm going to do now, all right? Okay, so I've got uh, the tub cleaned out and I've got everything dished up here. So this will make approximately one and a half liters of ice cream. I've got this in three portions here. And um, it's, you can see there's like chunks from the side in the middle, which will help it to freeze once it's in the deep freeze, which I'm going to transfer it to. So, final thing, do the taste test. Oh yeah. That came out really, really good.